Hi, welcome back to NPA teaching. As we are already discussed in the last video that a function f of x is said to be continuous if we can draw its graph without lifting the pen from the paper. If the graph is broken at point say a, then this point is called the point of discontinuity of the function and we can say that the function is discontinuous at x is equal to a. There are two types of discontinuity, removable discontinuity and the second one is the irremovable discontinuity. A function is said to be discontinuous when either f of a is not defined or the left hand side of the limit that is limit f of x where x approaches to a from left and the limit f of x where x approaches from right are exist but it is not equal. Or limit f of x where x approaches from left is equal to the limit f of x where x approaches to the right exist that means the left hand side of the limit is equal to the right hand side of the limit but it is not equal to f of a then in these three cases we can say that a function is discontinuous regarding removable discontinuity if limit f of x where x approaches to a exist and are finite but it is not equal to f of a then discontinuity is called removable discontinuity that is a is a removable discontinuity if right hand side of the limit is equal to the left hand side of the limit but it is not equal to f of a removable discontinuity is also known as point discontinuity such a discontinuities can be removed by defining or refining the function at the point of discontinuity. Thus, a discontinuity is said to be removable if limit f of x is exists and are finite but it is not equal to f of a. That is the condition for removable discontinuity is that the right hand side of the limit is equal to the left hand side of the limit but it is not equal to f of a. And it is also known as point discontinuity. Consider the function f of x is equal to 2x minus 1 when x is less than 1, f of x is equal to 2 when x is equal to 2, then f of x is equal to x when x is greater than 1. So examine its continuity at x is equal to 1. So we can say that the left hand side of the limit which is equal to limit f of x where x approaches from left which is equal to 2x minus 1 so it is 2 into 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1. The right hand side of the limit that is limit f of x where x approaches to 1 from right which is also equal to x which is equal to 1. Since the left hand side of the limit and the right hand side of the limit at x is equal to 1 are equal. The limit of function f of x exists at x is equal to 1. We can say that the limit f of x is exist. But what is f of 1? f of 1 is already given that is which is equal to 2. Thus f of x is equal to 1 and f of 1 which is equal to 2. The limit f of x is not equal to f of 1. Hence f of x is not a continuous function at x is equal to 1. But in this case if we define the function f of x in such a way that f of 1 is equal to 1 then f of x is continuous at x is equal to 1. So this type of discontinuity is called removable discontinuity here because here we can remove discontinuity by refining or defining the f of a that is f of 1 which is equal to 1. Since it may be removed by refining the function f of x that is it is reducing algebraically so as to obtain the function f of x which is continuous at x is equal to 1. If limit f of x where x approaches to a does not exist, then the function is discontinuous and such a case limit does not exist and then discontinuity is called irremovable discontinuity. This discontinuity caused by the non-existence of the limit at a point cannot be removed by redefining the function. A function is said to be irremovable discontinuous when 
the limit f of x where x approaches to a does not exist that means the right hand side of the limit does not equal to the left hand side of the limit then the function is discontinuous and such a discontinuity cannot be removed by redefining the function i hope you are clear about the concept of discontinuity and the types of discontinuity have a nice day and see you in the next video thank you